Enhanced Computerized Office System or Ecosystem for short. Many might wonder why and how did we implement this ICT technology enabled reforms. We should like to answer that particular question this way. First, the SDO of Katbalagan City is blessed to have a very innovative leader able to plan and prepare for the future and making sure that it will become a reality. One remarkable accomplishment Sir Echo has done is the full utilization of the ICT and other technology-enabled reforms. He has designed a computer-enabled program dubbed as Enhanced Computerized Office System or ECHO System. This software consists of separate but integrated application modules that address the unique set of functionality and data security requirements of individual users, user groups, and organizational units within the schools, school districts, and the division. Second, the ever-changing challenges in the office are both difficult and easy. If all will just consider uh, problems as opportunities, then there is no possible result other than success. Third, the SDO of Katbalagan City is responding to the challenge made by our regional director to the 13 divisions of the region. In a micro-governance approach, the ecosystem is a reinforcement of the mandated accountability and integrity which are demanded from all employees and personnel of this division office. The first component is the Basic Classroom Information System or BCIS, which is a system for teachers' technological advancement. It is a system that relieves the teachers from the tasking and time-consuming manual recording, computation, and other clerical work. Here, students' grades are processed through a computer application that pumps off the work that would generally take months into a few minutes. The system had its pilot implementation in two of the biggest schools of the division, namely Katbalagan 1 Central School and Samar National School. Through this, the teachers only need to input raw data, quizzes, works, and other performance outputs offline. These data are then automatically computed and reflected in the students' class records, grade sheets, and even in the report cards and permanent records. Sa ngayon, gamit namin ang BCIS, ito ay napakadali. I-input na lang namin yung total quizzes, yung performance tasks, at yung periodical test. Every quarter and at the end of the school year, the system readily generates the cards, permanent records, and other pertinent documents of students ready for distribution. The system also provides information like the class mean and the MPS, which are necessary in determining the whole class performance. These processes are completed without necessarily requiring so much time and effort from the teachers. There was a successful implementation of the BCIS in two of the biggest schools of the division. Also, this year, there will be 100% utilization of the same technology in all the schools. First week of August 2017, I got a form 137 sa Summer National School. I didn't have to mga data or mga grades ng bata, computer generated na siya. Safe na yung grades ng mga bata, hindi magagalaw basta-basta. So ito yung mga nakita kong mga pagbabago ng uh, document management ng isang paaralan. The BCIS utility provides a huge impact in the school's entire performance. The accuracy of grade computation, the efficiency of the teacher's performance in teaching, and the process of grade computation are faster and easier. The validity of the student's computed grades are established since the system computes the numbers automatically. And since the heavy workload was lightened, 
teachers can offer more time on improving teaching techniques and pay more attention to their students, particularly on matters of misbehavior, poor performance, and risks of dropping out. Because of the new BCIS, the schools provided higher quality of education. Indeed, because of the fact that teachers already had ample time to attend to the needs of the students, the dropout rate of the two schools significantly decreased from 7.98% to 2.1% in the school year 2016-2017. The second component of the ECHO system is the Human Resource Information System, or HRIS. Here, the issuances of service records and other personal documents of the employees are facilitated and readily generated and issued when needed. Employee benefits like step increments, royalty pay entitlements, and other benefits and even ranking and selection process and profiling of employees are installed. Documents Management System or DMS is the third component. In this component, all the documents of teachers like the certificates of trainings, seminars, resource speakerships, appointment or promotion documents and other pertinent papers necessary in the upgrading of employee status are indexed and can easily be generated when needed. The availability of the Human Resource Information System or the HRIS, the Document Management Information System and BCIS as well as the website or the portal for the division are all considered remarkable and worthwhile as they make office processes easier and quicker. The system has a great impact on the entire organization operations as these ensure corruption-free transactions because the clients do not need to personally transact business at the office. All processes are already done online. The installation and implementation of ECHO system is sustainable in a way that its utilization is efficient and can improve through modern technology, with enough facilities and manpower, as well as educating the teachers and staff with its proper use and necessary knowledge in using the system, there is no doubt that it will be sustained.